Hey, what's going on, everyone? Um, this is gonna be the fifth fifth episode of the vlog series for Shark of Wall Street. Um, just a quick episode. I'm gonna do. Um, I was paying attention to uh, CNN money uh, charts today, um, and the big loser for today that I've been looking at is Vertex Pharmaceuticals. They are sharing at eighty dollars and fifteen cents. They are down six dollars and sixty three cents uh, today, um, which is a seven point six four percent loss. And um, as I as I continue to focus on the trend of trading stocks that are down, um, just to go quickly into um, Vertex Pharmaceuticals, pharmaceutical company, uh, pharmaceutical company, obviously by the name. Um, look at their five-day charts. Uh, Thursday they were down. Last Thursday they were down 0.15 uh, percent. Friday up 4 percent. Monday up 1 percent, and Tuesday up 3 percent. And then they d took a big decline today at uh, down 7 percent. And I don't really see this holding. I see tomorrow them jumping up at least 2 percent. And uh, I might uh, actually trade. I may actually hold this stock for a bit because uh, they might be up tomorrow, or they might stay. To, uh, they might stay where they are, or they might lose tomorrow. But I think in the days following, I'm going to see some um, some um, some gain in them. So uh, let's quickly go to uh, my portfolio. Again, up 1.4%. Uh, could be better. I want to be up around 3% if possible. Um, so we will be trading Vertex when the market opens tomorrow at we are buying 2500 shares of it at market open tomorrow um so it's 921 right now on March 23rd it's Wednesday um market's closed uh market's open again tomorrow at 9:30 a.m. I'm going to have 2500 shares placed on it um yeah, so um, the reason, you know, it, this article right here on thestreet.com, which is a, a market website, um, as of noon trading, Vertex Pharmaceutical is down $5.59, negative 6.4%. Uh, now it's down uh, almost 7 point something percent. So um, not, not good. It doesn't look good for uh, Vertex Pharmaceuticals right now, but... Um, uh, and you know the street ratings rates pharmaceutical uh, vertex pharmaceutical as a sell, and but you know I'm gonna do the exact contrary. I'm gonna buy it tomorrow morning and see what happens. Uh, I've been reading a couple articles on the company itself. It's a pretty well known uh, pharmaceutical company, and they do a lot of biotech um, things. So uh, okay, let's go into detail right here. Uh, so this website right here, 24/7 Wall Street, is um, a website I follow and. Um, this guy, uh, Chris Lange, says, Jeffries identifies five top biotech stocks for huge upside. Huge upside. That's what I'm looking for, baby. Um, so, yeah, J Jeffries believes that Vertex will continue to be the leader in a welcome circum circum circumscribed, not circumcised, high margin, high barrier to competitive entry, cystic fibrosis space. Uh, the firm believes there is already broad street understanding that near-term consensus Okrambi numbers may be optimistic. Uh, expectations are low, though. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm confident the stock's going to do well. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to see what happens. I'll probably make another update video tomorrow. Um, and I'm just hoping and praying that my speculation is correct because it is down 7%. And I usually only try to trade stocks that are down, you know, five or six percent, seven percent. Actually, is a little too much for my liking, and I don't, I don't like seeing like I don't like seeing that. It's a, uh, it could be a telltale sign of a plunge. Uh, that tomorrow could it can go down even more. But you know, looking at this chart, I see, um, I see upside in it. Uh, but if you go to like a three months chart, down negative thirty percent, down six or six months down negative uh, 28 uh, percent one year chart down 36 percent so not not too good but um, I like my five day charts um, my speculation has been right you know price earning ratios uh, not there 
Price to sales 29.4. Price to book 22.7. The forecast. Take a look at the forecast. Um, and the forecast is good. You know, the low is saying up 18%. The median is saying up 68%. The, the high is up 98%. So, um, I think um, tomorrow we're going to see, um, hopefully, hopefully a game. And if not, I'll still hold the stock for at least a day or two. If it doesn't gain tomorrow, mind you. And uh, the day after, probably it should gain. So, we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, then that will be episode 6, if I believe. So, stay tuned, guys.